转动慈悲。富贵心灵，回归生命的宁静与和谐。灵鹫山全球网络电视台。西方神学研究最高的学府——美国圣母天主教大学，邀请了新教法师莅临，分享东方神学的经验，特别的意义。在美国的土地上，建立罗马式的各个建筑，有基督教会，更有百分之七十的人信奉天主教。吸引了世界各宗教，经常在这里交流学习。尤其在畅谈东方灵修经验的时候，我们看到了和谐的一体性。人与人，人与动物，彼此之间友善共处。校园中的墓园与校景融为一体，这里有如是一个小型的生命场域。大家在这里共同学习彼此的生命，迸出了大爱的火花。具有生命旺盛力与炙热爱心的青年学子们，已经迫不及待地要请教这位来自东方的禅师——新道法师。他们要亲自与新道法师对话，同时也针对了禅修提出了一些疑惑。我们先做一个小小的祈祷，为我们的世界和平、地球的平安做一个祈祷，好吗？ I would like us to start with just small prayer for the peace of this world. Is that okay? No, amen. Hey, uh, we were in the small time. This environment is all fighting. Ah, not like everyone is very very have a 呃，幸福快乐的这个社会、家庭、国家，而我们那个时候呢，就是一个战乱的时期，所以我生在一个战乱的地方，所以对和平的这种啊、呃、期待跟愿望呢，非常的呃，就是重视。为了这个世界的和平，所以内心一直想要如何做才能够达到这个目的。所以我用出家的一个方法啊，想要达成一个这种人心的和谐、世界的和平。所以我修行啊，就是去实践这种修行。And I found that the best way of doing this is to become a Buddhist monk. And my practice as a Buddhist monk is to not only look for peace, but to find ways how to establish this peace for others, for the world. And so this is part of my practice. It's not just an idea, but it's really a religious practice to um, find ways to help this world to become a more peaceful place. And I found this approach through Buddhism, specifically through my Zen practice as a monk. 我是有一个偶像，叫做观世音菩萨。这个是一个慈悲的实践者，救苦的一个实践者。因为他的一个慈悲的实践，所以我非常的仰慕跟学习。所以我就从听了观音菩萨的这个名号，知道他的这个救苦跟慈悲以后，我就开始出家修行。所以呢，也就是学习他的一个修行，啊，这个救苦。所以我从
，修行呢是从坟场啊、山洞啊、没有人住的地方，或者是断食啊，这些都是我一个修行的方法，也是一个学习观音菩萨这个为了慈悲。为了救苦，我必须要做这些的啊、呃、反省，要做这些学习来做一个断除我执的一个人，所以可以做更多的事情。内心一直希望这个世界不要有战争，啊，也希望呢，我们各宗教呢都可以啊，由于共同的一个啊目标，也就是。爱世人救世人，团结一起，为这个地球做一个平安的工作。All religions are about love and establishing peace,、um, not only Buddhism. And、um, it is my earnest aspiration that all religions、mm -hmm. can work together in this. We all need each other because this world is suffering. If you think about global warming, all help each other. And this is why my work is also very much involved with interreligious dialogue, bringing different religions together, so that we can form programs and projects, get to know each other, and work together. All help each other and help this world to become a better place. I also have this kind of belief and concept, so I. 创造了一个这个世界宗教博物馆，这个博物馆呢，也就是等于我们宗教呢，呃，在全球呢，每一个宗教都有不同的文化，那么不同的文化、不同的信仰，所以我们呢，也许是这个上帝跟我们很多的学习，不同的宗教去学习这个啊、呃、这个真理，让我们。能够呢，呃，心地善良，啊，让我们能够呢，更为这个世界做更好的事情。And so my particular approach of furthering understanding and peace of the world is to build a museum of world religions, in which we have ten、um, traditions represented. They are all given equal space. And、um, it is my understanding that all religions, God wants us to come closer to God through all religions. They are all different ways. They have their own beauties, distinct culture and history. And we wanted to、um, provide a platform for people to study and learn about this great diversity and discover the love and the beauty that's in all of the religions and how they can help us to、um, establish peace and love in this world. And so our museum is built on the、um, uh, on the motto that we have to further respect among religions, embrace every single form of life, and、um, understand each other in order to create peace. So、um, this is my particular <coughs> approach to help this world become a better place through the Museum of World Religions, helping religions and people to know each other better and even to learn more about their own religions. 那么，我们看到呢，这个世界呢是不太宁静，就是不和谐，所以我们用一个方法，就是用禅修来让我们的心和谐和平，用慈悲来关怀苦这个这个世界。所以我们的理念就是用禅跟慈悲呢来和谐和平我们这个世界。And so、um, we use two methods. People's hearts are not at peace. People's hearts are not at peace. And so we have two methods. One is Chan meditation, Zen meditation, Chan in Chinese, to bring us to this inner place of rest and peace and stillness. And the other method, of course, is compassion, that we reach out to all of those who suffer and are in need of help. So these two methods are intimately related. And、um, this is、um, a method that I like to teach to people to find their own inner peace, but not to stop there, but then to go and reach out to others through cultivation of compassion. Now, our world is a multi-dimensional world. So, no matter our 
全球化的关系，所以我们有这么好的一个共同分享各各种不同的文化，所以在这多元化当中呢，我们就会有很多的选择或很多的资讯，但是我们不知道如何去选择资讯，这个人这个生命的价值是什么？可能资讯都没有叫做什么叫价值，但是都是价值。但是我们宗教可能会给我们每个人一个价值观。那么这个价值观就是找寻那生命的本质，然后回到自己，然后为世人做更好的贡献。啊，也就是伦理道德的这个提升。So we live in a globalized world. And this gives us the opportunity to intimately meet and experience many different cultures and religions. But sometimes we get so much information that、um, there is a danger that we might get a little bit lost. And so, in all of this information, what is it really important? It's the value of life. What are our values based on? Religions give us this most basic value, and so we follow our religions to develop a、um, life that's based on values. And and for us,、um, a deep value lies in the fact that if you can return your heart and mind to this place where it really belongs, as Christians you would say God. We say if we return our mind to its origin, our heart to its origin, then we will find peace. And we will also find the energy, the compassionate energy, and the love to go out and care for all others and help this world to become what it's really meant to be—not a place of war and、um, suffering, but a place where people get along, along together, and、um, where we can establish peace.